In ecology, it is really important to estimate population size. So the three different type of methods what we uh, usually use to find how big the population is for a certain species is the quadrat method. Uh, the quadrat method, we, uh, we have a, for example, a large meadow, an area with plants, non-motile organisms. We put quadrats, uh, a certain size of quadrats on the meadow or on the, gra on the ground, and we will find the ever the numbers of the number of organisms in each quadrat and we will figure out the average number per quadrat for the certain organisms we will num uh, we will uh, time the number of quadrats together with the average number and we will figure out the population size of that organism over that area. The other one is the transect method. The transect method uh, is along a line, for example, a mountain, how the population of different uh, plant species change with the elevation, for example. Here are some uh, pine trees and some grassy area over there at the top. The transect goes along a line and we count the number of organisms along the line. These are certain lengths uh, along the transect and we will count how many organisms uh, present at that length. We can use it for recount over a period of time the number of uh, species over time so we can draw a conclusion, for example, or compare different mountains with their transect and their uh, population. The last one is the mark and recapture method. This is for animals. Uh, for animals, we usually use aerial uh, rec reconnaissance that it's kind of the, from an airplane just taking pictures. Yeah, I'm having uh, trouble spelling aerial reconnaissance. Uh, and, it, and it's really good for savanna, grassland and Arctic places where bigger organisms we can see, for example, counting the buffaloes, the uh, elephants, but how about the night organisms or sea water creatures or counting organisms in forest that they are tiny. So we will just do capturing the organisms, mark them, release them into nature back, and we recap them the second time. Here is a formula. Oh, this is uh, release them and recap them. Here is the formula what we are going to use. Capital R divided by S equals capital M divided by capital N. The R is the number of recaptured organisms for the second time that they were already uh, were marked at the first time. The S stands for size of the sample that we will gather for the second time. M is the marked and released uh, organism for the first time. And N is the population size based on that formula. So for example, the first time we catch over a certain area 75 grasshoppers or any kind of bugs. We will mark the organism and second time we will catch 98 grasshoppers. We sort them out marked and not marked and we figure out 60 were marked and 38 out of the 98 were not marked. Using the formula 
and expressing the n in the formula, m times s divided by, by r, it will give us around 122 for the population size. So your example now, if you have, first time you catch 15 ladybugs, you tag them, you release them back to nature, you catch them a couple of days later, 42, you catch them, and 12 out of the 42 is marked, and 20 of them are not marked. Yeah, it's around 52 what you will get. Now, this is a good method estimating population size, but we have to assume that no migration, immigration, emigration happens in that area between the two uh, capturing. The tags do not have any effect on the survival ship. It will not fade or get off as well as it lets the organisms breed and mix randomly with other organisms. Number three is no excessive uh, birth uh, or death rate will happen in that period of time. And number four, four is the marked organism randomly is going to mix, is going to be mixed with the other organisms or in the population. And I forgot to tell you guys that if the R is the recaptured second time organism uh, amount is too small, the population will be big. And that makes really sense. 